Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this live wire video tutorial, we will learn about the life cycle hooks. What are they? How we can use? We will learn everything. So first of all, let's uh, check out the points of the video. So these are some points. So first of all, we will make a component. Then we will use it with the blade template. Then we will see what is the life cycle hooks, as in theoretically. Then I will show you the three very important life cycle hooks: mount, hydrate, and update it. All right. So now uh, let's start with making a component. So just remove it this and open the new command line and just right here php artisan make live wire and let's say profile is my uh, component name. All right. So here you can see that we have the two file, one for the PHP, one for the HTML. Right. So now let's use this file this component inside the blade so i am just going to use here welcome file so just open here welcome file and just remove all code just right here some html tag and uh, we can just remove it and uh, let's add the style live wire styles with a similar way we can also use the live wire mm, script scripts and uh, at the last let's use the live wire component the live wire and my component name is profile perfect so what we are able to see here we will see nothing here for a moment because we did not define anything inside the profile dot blade so just make a h1 tag here and just write here profile component all right so here now we can see that the profile component is there all right so now let's see what is the life cycle hooks so as you you can see that the life cycle that means some functions or you can say that some events that are happening during the life cycle of any component for example when component is just birth when component is just grow up when component component is died right so let's change it little bit when component is just uh, uh, mounted when component is updated and when com when component is unmounted right so these are the three phases and uh, various life cycle methods are coming through these so let's say uh, the mount update and hydrate these are the three major life cycle hooks we will see here all right so mount will be automatically called we don't need to call these uh, functions so might will uh, mount will be automatically called when our component is refreshed and our component is just mounted you can say that all right uh, i will show you that how how it actually works so now let's open the one more file which is uh, profile.php and here i am just going to make a property like uh, name and uh, name can be like uh, initial name initial name all right and i am just going to uh, now let's define public property like this right so as you uh, see here if i am just going to print here this name then we will see initial name will be printed here right so now let's check it let's make h2 tag here and just print here dollar name and we are seeing here initial name that's obvious there is nothing new but if i am just going to use here function mount and uh, here i am just going to this dot name will be bruce right then you will see this is updated here all right that means this function is automatically called when component is reloaded or you can say that when component is first time loaded all right when component is mounted basically this is a technical term all right so that's fine so this is working here 
So now maybe you have a question that why we need it. So if I'm just going to put here Bruce initial name here, then it will be the same thing. Yes, sometimes this is same, but sometimes this is not same. All right. So if I am just going to sending some request and if I'm just going to uh, getting getting try to get them here, then I cannot get the uh, request values here from the form or I cannot get the uh, parameters. Let's say I'm just going to pass here something then I cannot get these parameters without the mounting. That's why mounting is required here, right? So in the upcoming videos, uh, we will see a large amount of shoes of the mount function, right? When we are just putting the validation, when we are just getting the form value and query parameters and all, right? So this is a basic use of it. So now I am just going to define a public counter all right and let's take it counter like this and by default value is zero and i am just going to print this counter here so let's try it here counter can be uh, count right and the initial value of it is zero that's okay and i can just update it dollar this name uh, count plus plus is it working let's see this is working fine perfect so now what i want uh now let's check out the use of the second uh, life cycle hook which is hydrate all right so hydrate will be automatically called when our the name property or count property or any property of this function is updated it may be on a button click it may be on a form submit or anything all right maybe on a key press when it will be work let's see how we can see it so now i am just going to make a button here and just write here update name but for uh, here i am just going to call here uh, wire click but I need a function here so let's define the function so I am just going to define a function uh, let's say uh, 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 update name and I will get the value from here like name and let's see this name will be dollar name all right now let's use this updated name function on a button click like this let's pass some values here like batman so let's try to call it again on a button click now you can see that batman is transferred here so now let's define a function which is a i will say you how you can use the hydrate function hydrate I don't need to bruise here everything is fine but whenever I am just going to click on it my uh, name property is always trying to get update on up every button click because I am sending the value from here and you will see that the counter is increasing all right so when you just want to perform some operation on any properties uh, update then you can use the hydrate function here all right so now let's check out the uh, updated so hydrate and updated are a uh, little bit similar but the difference is that update is basically used with the binding how i will show you so i am just going to make it updated like this all right for a moment and if i am just going to click on it then this batman is updated but counter is not going to update that means this is not going to be working with the property updation right now let's see the actual use of it so here i am just going to just hide it and let's define the input type can be text wire model and model will be my name all right and uh, I hope uh, you 
watched my previous word video about the uh, property binding if you did not watch then link is given in the description which is very important so now if i am just going to be update proofs mm -mm, then you will see bruce is updating but uh, yeah that's that's my bad i have to just put here updated and if i am just going to be change it with xyz you will see counter is increasing now so that means this is working with the binding all right so i hope you caught my all three properties uh three life cycle hooks as well as what is that and how we can use if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel please 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 and please like the video also bye bye take care